uh, game. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I used to have a, a, a teacher um, uh, in university, and um, he used to to talk a, a certain way, and he'd always say, "Yeah, interesting." Yeah. And he would squint, and um, and we would secretly make fun of him because um, he wasn't like he wasn't an old teacher. He was fairly he was a fairly young and new teacher at, at that point. <sighs> Open. Okay. So that is locked. So we are back here, and um, we've we've now done that story, which I guess means we can progress into the second part of this. You know, I wonder if it's actually possible that. You have places like this that become completely abandoned. I mean, I'm saying that. I know that it's the case that there are places that usually get abandoned, but there's a lot of stuff around here, and, and you gotta imagine that it was worth something. So why someone would never just like sell it uh, dirt cheap is just beyond me. Wall-mounted case, axe-shaped discoloration, fire axe cabinet. An axe. Let's see. Oh. Okay. So, oh. Look. There's someone dead. Someone's dead there. For sure. Okay. Um. What is this? Straight from the inside, from the outside. Excessive force, desperation, rage, broken door. Oh, obviously the axe, right? Oh, shit. Okay. So this is Dale. This is Ethan's dad. Victim cornered. Punctured to the throat. No other wounds, no signs of struggle, no footprints to the blood. Let's touch it. Uh, no, it doesn't seem like there's much there. Inspect the axe. Um, doesn't seem to be any blood on it, so it doesn't seem like this is the murder weapon. Ah. Overturned pen holder. Scattered accessories. Something taken in a rush. Pen, pencil, scissors, letter opener, ruler. Where? Oh, where? Could this thing be? Hello? Okay, it's getting worse. It's somewhere. Is it somewhere here? It's somewhere around here. Yes, we're getting closer. Getting closer. We're getting closer. Much more. Where is it? What is this? There's a path. Oh, oh, okay, an elevator. Ah, shit. Okay, I know what that is. I think I know where it is. Um. Okay, good. Let's do this. Um. So, I that I guess that's the the bottom part of the top elevator that we saw initially. Okay, let's fix this. Let's put the axe back. And I'm guessing we just need to find. There's the house. There's the elevator. Okay. Pretty sta straightforward. Um, no mucking about with this particular mystery. We're on our way um, quite quite effectively. We are... We, we actually... You know what? I'm actually surprised that we, we went through the maze um, without being killed by shambles or being stopped uh, by shambles. Um, I, I think we're getting better and better at this uh, detective thing. And... Um, Paul Prospero is, uh, for lack of a better word, a genius. Right. So, this was the murder weapon for Dale. Does this work? It does. Okay. I don't know why I did that. I guess... Oh, that's the way to get back up. 
so we don't have to go through the mines and go through the cave. Okay, that's fine. We'll just wait for it to go all the way back up, and then and then we'll, you know, demand that it comes back down. Can we do that? I hope that that wasn't just like a one-way trip and that I just screwed myself over. No, it's probably going to allow me to call it back down once it stops, right? Right, that stopped. Yeah, okay. Perfect. So, okay, that's coming back down. We have it, and all we need to go do now is replace the, the I guess the scissors. We're going to fix the scissors, and hopefully that's going to give us... Um, it's going to trigger our heebie-jeebie senses um, to actually determine how Dale died. Which, I don't really remember who's left alive to actually die. But we know Dale's brother's dead, we know that Ethan's mom is dead, we know that the first person to die was, was Travis, but we don't know what in which order these people died to begin with. So it could be Grandpa. Maybe Grandpa killed him, but I don't know. It seems like Grandpa was always on Dale's side, or Ethan's side. Oh. Okay. All right. So going out the window and this one's staying right okay we've got some materializations going on okay so this is Dale has the scissors and, oh this is Travis okay Travis has the axe okay but Travis Maybe Travis didn't kill Dale, or maybe he just took the scissors from Dale and stabbed him in the throat. Okay, this is Dale, and Travis is, is just coming here uh, like good old um, The Shining, and he busts down through the door with the axe, and then potentially stabs uh, Dale in the throat. What else do we have here? Um, we have... Travis holding the axe fairly calmly, and uh, Dale seems to be sort of like nursing his cheek. So maybe Travis struck him, like slapped him or punched him. I mean, isn't isn't Dale Travis's dad? Okay, so Dale is sort of telling Travis, "Calm down, Travis. You're, you're, you're obviously insane. The sleeper has a hold of you, and uh, Travis is trying to murder him." Right. Okay. So this makes somewhat of sense because Travis was actually trying to kill Ethan. So we know Travis... Oh my god. Okay, so this is Dale with the axe. And Travis is coming out and Dale is trying to kill... Tra okay, so this puts like a, a huge... God, it's, it's windy. Um... This puts a huge cl cl cluster fuck in, in my theory. Okay, so... Actually, Dale is trying to kill Travis. But whatever happens... Um... He, he fails. Right, okay, so he fails in his fight with Travis. Travis, because Dale is a big pushover, so, so Travis takes the axe. And he's like... I'm, I'm going to go ahead and kill you, Dad, because you tried to kill me. And and then there's a little thing, and he sort of, like, punches him or pushes him down, and then he he falls. This is actually just pretty straightforward, isn't it? There's no, like, back and forth. There's not going to be any back and forth in this one, is there? It's just going to be straight up. Um, this is obviously... Hello? Uh, oh, it's okay. So it's here. This is obviously four, and, and this is obviously the last one. This is five. Yeah, well, let's visualize this. Oh. Where's my mother? Why are you standing in the sleeper's way? She had an accident. Travis, put down the axe. Hmm. An accident. 
I, I didn't want her to get hurt. We're all so sick, you know? Since Ethan found that room. Okay. Where's Ethan? God damn it. Talk to me! Okay? Okay! He wants to burn Vandegrift's room. Look, Travis, just... Just, just leave me alone! Okay. Oh god. Oh god! The sleeper chooses vessels. You know that? To enact his wishes? He chose Mom. He chose me. Son? I don't want to hurt you. You think scissors are gonna save you? Yes. No. Didn't have to be this way. He could have helped the sleeper. Helped us. But Mom's right. You're a coward. And you'll be meeting Ethan again soon.